think it was Michael Jackson who was this, somebody's watching me, right? Somebody's always watching. Character. So self-discipline, self-responsibility and loyalty. There's nothing like being able to trust your employees, your staff, to do what you've assigned them to do and you don't have to keep, you know, reminding them and talk, calling on them to make sure everything is done. You need to be able to be self-disciplined. Teamwork. And now for me, I put seeks opportunity for continuous learning. I love to learn, and so I'm attracted to people who like to learn. I want people on my team who want to learn. I want us to go higher. I don't want us to be stagnant. So you should be willing to learn more, and you should be willing to participate with your team. Your appearance is a huge one. Y'all remember Shanae? Y'all remember Shanae was a Martin, right? Y'all remember her? Don't, I tell you, when I see folks looking like that walking into their office, I thought, oh, good gracious. <laughs> or look, I, I don't even want to say Shanae, but I'll even say, um, what's the blonde, um, the singer with the long blonde hair? Had, she used to wear meat all on her. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Lady Gaga. I mean, come on, you know, literally, when you get ready to go into your job, you don't need to look like any of them people. If you look like you could go to the VM, VM1 or uh, BET Awards or what, on your job, then come on, you gotta do better. So you need to look appropriate for your job. And hygiene, you need to, sm please smell good. I have a nose like nobody's business. It's, please smell good and dress well. Attitude, you need to have a good attitude. Productivity, follow directions and procedures. Do your job, and it, not just do your job and do the status quo, but why, what's wrong with trying to excel? What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Organizational skills, this is prioritizing, time management, being adaptable and flexible, and being able to work around the circumstances of your responsibilities. Cooperation, this is huge. I think this is num number one, actually, out of many of these besides attitude, is that um, you appropriately handle criticism and complaints. So when your employer gives you feedback, you shouldn't be trying to take it personal, especially if the delivery is good. It's not about, really, I hate to say this, but it's not about you. It's about what the employer is in try, trying to accomplish. It's really what it's about. Uh, working well with your peers, following chain of command, and having appropriate relationships and friendships. So I won't go in, that's a different subject. We don't leave that one alone. Respect that you do not engage in harassment of any kind, and you respect the rights of others, and, deals, and you deal appropriately with cultural and racial diversity, okay? Coming back to these chains, remember when I had asked, all this seems like common sense, right? But just like these chains that you guys were working with earlier as an employer, or HR or whatever, we'll come, we can talk to people and tell them exactly what we need them to do, but then when it comes to these things here, I don't know why they fall short in the workplace. Does anybody know why? Lose focus? They have a fixed mind. But this is clear, right, at the beginning of the job, right? This seems clear, right? But I'm telling you, six months, nine months into the job, how, uh, what was your name? Tammy, how she was holding those chains up up here in front, everything looked disheveled and mixed up. That's exactly what we tend to see as employers, and we don't want that. As you as leaders, we don't want that for you. We want you to be able to supersede these expectations and then lead those that are coming behind you. Okay, is that clear? Does anybody want to share? Any, then that's all, really, I think that's all I have for me, is there anything that anybody wants to share? Any feedback? Anybody learn anything? Anybody want anything? What do you think? Anybody learn? Yeah. You just raised. What's on What's on your hand? Your values. Um, 